Hello everyone, how's it going? In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to use the Code GPT extension for your VS Code. So basically, Code GPT is an amazing tool that can provide instant explanation for your code within VS Code using AI. So with the features of Code GPT, you can get code from comments. It also allows you to get questions from Stack Overflow and compare the best human answer with the answer of an AI. It explains a selected code as well, and it can also refactor code as well. So if you're interested and happy to see how it works, consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up. So with that being said, let's jump right in. So let's start with getting codes from comments. Code GPT allows you to get code from comments. You can simply write a comment asking for a specific code, then press Ctrl Shift I and Code GPT will provide you the code you need. So let's give it a try. So let's write a code to display the Fibonacci sequence. So once you're done, Ctrl Shift I. So you can see code gpt over there i'm thinking let's give it a while so here's the code in javascript to display fibonacci sequence right so it created a function fibonacci and created a variable over there so let's copy that code and just paste it within there it also has a feature that allows you to ask stack overflow for help and this functionality lets you get questions from stack overflow and compare the best human answer with the answer from an artificial intelligence and this can save you time and help you find the best solution for coding problems right so you start by typing control shift p then you start entering your question so i just type in fibonacci in here so you can see it pull out the questions related to fibonacci right so i'll just search for javascript you can see java recursive function you can see generating java yeah, you can see javascript over there so you can choose that one so when you see the stack overflow question related to fibonacci the, the person asks i'm trying to get to generate a simple fibonacci sequence but there's no output so the best human answer with 86 upvotes you can see the solution over there so you can compare this human answer with what the artificial intelligence and make your decision so this is the code gpt answer to the fibonacci sequence so you can compare the human answer with the code GPT and make your decision over here. If you want any explanation of a particular code, all you need to do is to select the code, then right click and explain code GPT. So it will provide you with the explanation of that particular code. So let's give it a try. There you go. So basically, the code defines a function named Fibonacci sequence, which takes in a single input parameter. And the function generates an array of Fibonacci numbers up to n, nth position, and returns the array. Fib array is initialized with a value of 0 or 1. So if n is less than or equal to 2, then the content Fib array. So that's the explanation of the code. You can see that's really helpful. So let's move on to the last one. That's refactoring the code. You can also refactor a code as well so all you need is to highlight that particular code and right click and choose refactor code gpt it will refactor your code for you so basically that's the refactor code create a fibonacci sequence within that create an array initialize with zero and one and loop through the array starting from two and ending at n and within that it initializes and do that. so to conclude code gpt is an amazing tool that can help you understand and optimize your code using ai i hope this tutorial has been helpful in showing you how to use it thanks for watching see you in the next one